Hi everybody, so one of the more common questions I get asked about my uh, modded XML files is how do you move the uh, trader store um, in your in the XML files I've done? So by the, when I'm recording this video, there's Daisy 113. When 114 comes out, I'll do a set for those. Um, and uh, it's this sort of thing, you know, you know this store that spawns in, that has stuff in it like that. Um, this one hasn't all the stuff hasn't fully spawned in yet but it's really cool um this isn't m my uh coding this is justin and don's don sibley gaming and justin from the facebook group um the uh, xml modding facebook group um but how can you have it in more than one location or move the location because in my files it spawns in at um uh, novi sabor but you might want it in different locations as well and it's it's pretty easy so what you want to do you want to go to wherever you keep your XMLs where you've downloaded them before you upload them to your remote server or you put them on your local server. And you op want to open up a couple of files. You want to open up the map group proto and the map group pos in your favorite text editing software. So my case, I like using Notepad++. So the, what the map group proto does is it sets out a group name and a usage name for um, all the items we want in the, st the store and where they're going to be. So it says group name equals land village store shop and then it gives it a usage name of store and then it goes through and if you look at this it's giving you okay so at position minus 1.333 minus 9.59 minus 1.954 at that angle Put an ammo box 556 by 45 that's why this file is so good they, they put so much work in justin did it's absolutely fantastic um his name's um yeah justin picture on the facebook daisy free xml support group facebook fantastic work so that that does all the leg work and the map group pause this has all of the places in the map um and it tells um the game where to spawn in those things so it's telling the game what to spawn in inside the, the medic shops what's to sport sorry what to, inside the clinics what's to spawn in inside the police stations what's to spawn in inside the whatever places now for most of the items here almost all of these it's not specifics like here so in the shop we're, we're saying it to specifically spawn in an ammo box 556 of those coordinates with the other ones it's a random selection of what should be in the shop depending on what's happening elsewhere on the loot economy in the server so if we take a look at the group land village store shop so if we copy that and we go into the map group pods and we do control f and we do a search for that we find all in the current document there's only one there it is so that's the line. So it says group name equals land village store shop. And if we were to check these coordinates here, um, you've got the X, uh, the Y, and the Z. Remember, it's X and Z to give you the, the horizontal and vertical in DayZ. That's the trader shop at Novi. In fact, I've put a little marker on there. And so what it's saying is at this particular location on that building, put that stuff in it. At those angles and it's very clever the way it does it because what this file has it in it has the it has the angle um, and the orientation of the building so that the map group proto can put all the stuff at the right uh, in the right place so you can imagine all the buildings in daisy all the land village stores the you know the blue stores they'll all be at slightly different angles won't they and they could be at sli you know slightly different orientations as well you don't have to do a new map group proto um, position thing for every single one because what happens is the map group pause says look at this location at this this uh, angle put this stuff in relative to the first coordinate okay so how do we put the store somewhere else well it's really easy actually we know that the uh, shop will fit in land village store so all you need to do is just change the name of any land village stores to land village store underscore shop and they'll be there so what you could do is you could do a search for land village store so copy that and then we could shut down that do a control f 
It's already put it in for us. Find all in the current document. Oh, sorry, no, I didn't mean to do that. Control F, we want land village store, find all in the current document. So here we go. So down the bottom, you can see these are all the stores on Chernus. And there's all the coordinates. So if we click on that one, all we need to do is change that where it says land village store to land village store shop. And then we save the file, we upload it to our server, we restart our server, and then the shop at that particular location will start to spawn in. And if you're wondering where that is, you can just copy these coordinates here, like so. Go over to the I Survive map, paste them up here, get rid of the middle bit, so we don't want the middle one. You can stick a comma in if you want. There we go. Oh, and that's just happened to be silly stock. <laughs> it's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? Let's do a different one. Uh, let's do a different one. Let's try this one. Land Village Store. Where's this one? So let's copy that. Go to the I Survive map. Paste it in. Get rid of the middle coordinate. Put in the comma. Press Enter. And that's the store at Kabenka. So if we wanted to change that building there into a store, all we would do is we would copy that, because it's easier to copy it, Land Village Store Shop, copy that, put it on top of that one, paste that there, save that, upload it to the server, restart the server, and we would then have a store of stuff that would start to spawn in Kamenka. Now, do bear in mind that the um, items that spawn in the store, they are controlled by the loot economy of the game. So, the, um, the game will only spawn in items in the shops if there's enough of them. So, you know, you know, say with, uh, say if we look at the Mac Group Pro, so ammo box 556 by 45, 20 round. If in your types.xml file there's only meant to be 20 boxes of ammo box 556 by 45, when the game runs out of being able to spawn these in, say you put several shops in, they won't appear. And that is why when you do have a shop, often you'll find not everything spawns in. Because this stuff, for example, like whatever's meant to be here, these boots that are meant to be here, that stuff has spawned in, but it's somewhere else on the map. And there isn't enough of them to allow them to spawn in here in the shop in this particular location. So what you would have to do is you'd have to increase in your types.xml those those types of items to get them to spawn in here. Right, so there we go. Hopefully that's useful. If it has been, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments, put them below the video. And I'll see you again soon.